हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एम बी ए करो वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ हाई ऑर्डर थिंकिंग समर एंड वी आर ऑन डे इलेवन ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट शॉर्ट आफ्टर टॉपिक्स ऑफ कैट डी आई एल आर विच इज गेम्स एंड टूर्नामेंट्स ओके ऑल दो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू डू गेट ए सेट ऑफ गेम्स एंड टूर्नामेंट्स बट इट इज समथिंग दैट पीपल टॉक अबाउट अ लॉट वेन दे प्रिपेयर फॉर कैट now games and tournaments covers different kind of problems okay so we shall see these things that what all different types of sets you can get so we are going to solve multiple sets in this video and we will discuss uh, like knockout tournaments scoring based tournament schedule based tournaments etc so watch this class till end and try to solve the sets on your own first if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for great content on mba preparation this is the schedule that we are following i hope you have watched these 10 videos till now if not please do go and watch these videos so if you watch this entire series of 30 days i guarantee you that you are going to do pretty well in your examinations be it cat or any other mba entrance examination in case you are preparing for cat 2024 and are looking for a structured preparation okay you can uh, check out our course on cat and uh, we provide section wise modules also so in case you want to just prepare for dilr or quant or vrc with us you can check out those also the link is given in the description of this video and you can use the code hot to get 20% off till 30th of june so let's begin today's class and uh, please try to solve the set on your own and then look at the solution so let's begin with the first set which is about a uh, a knockout tournament okay so i'll read this data for you to understand make you understand what exactly the tournament is and then we will solve the question so it says the table below the table is in the next uh, slide okay this table gives the listing of players seeded from highest to lowest 1 to 32 who are due to play in association of tennis players tournament for women so Uh, highest to lowest so this is uh, that means the rank seed means rank rank 1 to 32 okay this tournament has four knockout rounds before the final in the first round the highest seeded players the players the lowest seeded players seed 32 designated as match number 1 of the first round so match 1 is between 1 and 32 the second seeded player plays 31 so 2 versus 31 right third match is 3 versus 30 and so on thus for instance match number 16 of the first round is to be between 16 and 17 and then it says that uh, like in the second round the winner of match number 1 of the first round plays with the winner of match number 16 of the second round so here we have the winner of m1 versus m16 okay then we will have m1 versus M15, uh, sorry, M2 versus M15, M3 versus M14, and so on. Right? In the third round, we will have M1 versus M8, M2 versus M7, and so on. So this is how the tournament goes on. Right? So you, the, the first winner of the first match, plays with the winner of the last match of the tournament. Okay, so this is given that for match number eight of the second round will be played between match number eight of the first round and the winner of match number nine of so eight versus nine in the second round and so on. The same pattern is followed for later rounds as well. Okay, so the first match player wins and goes to the next round. Right, plays with the last winner of the last match, second match, second last match, third match, third last match, and so on. Okay. now this is the table given to us and we have to answer questions on it okay so in case you know how to solve this question great for those who do not know i will give you a brief understanding that how do we approach these particular questions now understand that whenever uh, like these kind of tournament based questions are asked there is something called a seed sum right so seed sum if you saw the first round it was 1 versus 32 2 versus 31 3 versus 30 4 versus 29 and so on till 16 versus 17 okay now 
if you see this total this total is coming as 33 right now if you talk about the second round this is round one if you talk about the second round one will play against winner of this game now the ideal scenario is that six player number win one will win and player number 16 shall win. this is the ideal scenario right unless a player beats another player a lower ranked player beats another player which is an which is called an upset this is going to happen two will play against the winner of this match that is 15 versus 18 so two will play against 15 three will play against the winner of this match which is 14 versus 19 so three shall play against 14 so what do we notice that the sum of these seeds is 17 okay third round we will have 1 versus 8, 2 versus 7, 3 versus 6, 4 versus 5. So, seed sum is 9. Fourth round, we will have 1 versus 4 because 1 will play against last match, 2 will play against 3. So, seed sum is 5. And in the last round, that is the final, round 5, we will have 1 versus 2. So, the seed sum is 3. Okay. So, the concept says that seed sum is one more than the number of players left. Number of players plus one. Okay, so we will be using this concept to figure out the trajectory of the players, right? Okay, so this is what happens in case of ideal scenario if a better player wins. So let's look at the question. The first question says, if Michelle Lee and An Siong lost in the second round, who would play against Tai Zhu Ying in the quarterfinals if Ying reached the quarterfinals? Now remember that the last round is the final, the round before it is semi-final, and the round before it is quarterfinal. Okay. So in quarterfinals, you have eight players. Final with two players, jate, semi-final has four players or teams, and quarterfinals has eight. So quarter finals there are 8 players, what should be the seed sum? The seed sum should be 9. Okay. Seed sum is 9. So we are saying that who will play against Tai Zhu Ying. So Tai Zhu Ying is rank 1. So rank 1 will play against rank 8. Isn't it? The ideal scenario is seed sum is 9. So it will be 1 versus 8. Now 8 is who? 8 is An Siong. Right. What it is given that An Siong lost in the second round. Right, so NCOM will not come. That was the ideal scenario if NCOM won the match. Now, in the second round, the seed sum will be 17 because there are 16 players. Round 1, 32. Round 2, 16 players. Seed sum is 17. Now, seed sum 17 means it will be 8 versus 9. And who beats 8? 9 beats 8. So, 9 will go to again instead of this, that uh, it will be player number 9. So, player number 9 is he big Jiao. So, the answer is he big Jiao. So, that is how we attempt these questions. Let us move on to the next question. If the top 8 seeds make it to the quarterfinals, then who amongst the players listed below would definitely not play against Kursala V Sindhu in the final? So, we need to tell that who will not play against PV Sindhu in the final in case Sindhu reaches the final. Right? So, so far, quarter finals, the players have reached are like this 1 versus 8, 2 versus 7, 3 versus 6, and 4 versus 5. Okay. So, top 8 made to the quarter finals. Now, the match is 1 versus 8, right? So, they will play against. So, we need to find who will not play against PV Sindhu, right? So, PV Sindhu is rank 7. So, PV Sindhu is playing against uh, this. In this uh, match, okay. Now uh, we need to first just put the ranks, right? So T is one, Naomi Okuhara is uh, three, okay. Then Akane is five, and An Siong is eight. Right? One, three, five, eight. We need to tell that who cannot play in the, uh, who cannot play against them in the final. So, in the semi-final, see PV Sindhu is 7. So, PV Sindhu goes to the semi-final. So, it will be 7 versus, see semi-final will, will be between these two teams and these two teams. So, its semi-final will be 7 versus 
3 or 6 right now if you see this player number 3 cannot play against them in the final why because if player number 3 moves on to the next round so they will play against in the semi final itself so if a team plays another player if a team or a player plays against one, uh, someone in the semi final they cannot play them again in the final so that means the answer is nozomi okuhara so player number 6 plays here itself so it cannot be in the final we can have others in the final like for example one wins one wins here one can play against seven in the final five or eight so five wins okay and then five wins and goes to the final eight wins instead of one eight wins and eight wins here to go to the final so we can have all other possibilities if there was a match between kusala v sandhu and saina nehwal the match must have been in uh, which round so in this case what we will do is we will find the trajectory of these players right and how do we find trajectories let us see this so one is pv sindhu and saina nehwal is rank number uh, 19 okay so we need to tell that how can they play in the uh, so this is round one round two round three that is quarter final round four is semi final and round 5 is final. Okay, so when we talk about PV Sindhu and Saina Nehwal, so PV Sindhu the rank is 7 and Saina Nehwal the rank is 19. Okay, so round 1 the seed sum is 33, so it is 7 versus 26. Second round the seed sum is 17, 9, and then 5, and then 3. So 17 means it will be 7 versus 10, 9 means 7 versus 2, right? Now, if you see like 5, you will say that 7 cannot qualify, right? Yes, you are right that if you are assuming that you are assuming that there is no upset. If there is upset, 7 will qualify, right? So, ideal scenario, what will happen in the ideal scenario? So, ideal scenario 7 wins, 7 wins. Here 7 should do, it should be 2 versus 3. And finally, 2 should win and it should be 1 versus 2. So, instead of 2, so if PV Sindhu, we have to make her move ahead in that tournament. So, she should be player number 2 so it should be 7 versus 3 and 1 versus 7 ok so this is the trajectory that she will play against other players now we will do the same activity for Saina Nehwal so first round it will be 14 versus 19 right now what we will do is we will find the ideal trajectory and then replace by Saina Nehwal so 14 seed sum is 17 so 14 should win this should be 3 versus 14 right if this is 3 3 should win this should be 3 versus 6 right and then 3 2 versus 3 and then 1 versus 2 that is the ideal trajectory ok now 14 does not win so it will be 3 versus 19 3 does not win so it is 19 versus 6 19 does not win so it will uh, 6 does not win so it will be 2 versus 19 and uh, 2 does not win it is 1 versus 19 ok so that means that if they uh, move ahead so 19 cannot encounter uh, like if you see this 19 cannot come across 7 they can come across the same in the final itself right so if you see that it is 19 versus 14 so 19 does not play against this player 19 versus 3 19 versus 6 okay so uh, if you see this 19 versus uh, this is 19 versus so 2 if 2 is beaten here nineteen is uh, it is nineteen versus three here. Now instead of three we have see the trajectory if you see this nineteen versus three is here okay and we are saying that it plays against player 3 in the semi final ok so they will happen to meet in the semi final so we do not have to find the complete trajectory we just see that it is 19 versus 3 here right 19 versus 3 and we are seeing that PV Sindhu plays player 3 in the semi final so if 19 beats 3 19 will be this player playing in the semi final so the answer is semi final 
if carolina marin is the winner of the tournament she definitely would not have played the final against which of these players so carolina marin is the winner so rank 4 is the winner so we will first find the trajectory of carolina marin and find the trajectory of others like we did in the previous question so if we find carolina marin so round 1 it is 4 versus 29 okay second round see see it some i'll write here 33 9 5 and 1 so it will win 4 versus 13 right it should be 4 versus 5 right then it will be 4 versus 1 1 versus 4 and this means 1 versus 2 so it will be 4 versus 2 okay so that's how the trajectory goes on now we will write these name akane uh, yamaguchi that is player number 5 and then we have pv sindhu is 7 then chen uh, is 2 and nozomi is 3 so we need to tell who could not play the final against them right now if you see this 4 versus 5 happens in the third round so you cannot play final against this player okay that is for sure because 4 versus 5 is directly played here others are possible let us say we we find for others so we can see 4 versus 2 is possible in the final if we want to see uh, how is 4 versus 3 possible here the match will be 2 versus 3 so if instead of 2 3 wins 3 can go into the final and play if you want to see how it is uh, 4 versus 7 so here a match is 2 versus 7 if 2 does not win 7 wins so it is going to be 7 versus 3 okay and if 7 does 3 uh, does not win 7 wins it could be 4 versus 7 so all others are possible 4 versus 5 is not possible because that will happen in the quarter final itself if rajanok uh, in the non fails an upset in the second round and the player who defeated her lost in the quarter final which of these players could not have reached the semi final okay so uh, don't worry about the names okay look at the ranks so 6 is an upset in the second round and the player who defeated her lost in the quarter final which of these players could not have reached the semi final okay so let's now uh, look at the the structures so round 1 round 2 round 3 round 4 and round 5 so these are the seed sums that we have okay so we need to track the trajectory of this player okay so uh, if you look at the first one it says that uh, like uh, faced an upset in the second round so first is 7 6 versus 27 okay it will be 6 versus 11 right and ideal trajectory this is 6 versus 3 and then 2 versus 3 and 1 versus right so first we plot the ideal trajectory then find the trajectory of this player now faced upset in the second round that means it lost to 11 here so instead of 6 it is 11 versus 3 okay now 11 versus 3 is a match and now uh, the question is that which of these players could not have reached the semi final okay so ideally it should be 2 versus 3 and so on let's look at these players Saina Nehwal is uh, in 19. Okay, so we will have to check for 19. Yu Xia Min is 30. Okay, and then we have Bevin uh, Zhang. Bevin uh, Zhang is 14, and Lion Christopher Sen is 27. Okay, now how do we find for these players? It is very simple. See, in the first round, six versus 27. Right now, six is facing an upset in the second round it means that it went to second round if it went to second round that means it won here if it won here that means 27 was eliminated so 27 could not have reached the semi final i mean you do not have to draw the entire trajectory just you can see by putting in the options and see that 27 cannot move to the second round because 27 is defeated in the first round itself so it cannot move the semi final others can reach the semi final you do not have to prove that how will others reach the semi final we have to tell who cannot reach the semi final so it is clear that 
And this player number uh, 27, Lion Christopherson, could not reach the semi final. Okay. All right, so that was uh, the first set. I hope you uh, enjoyed solving the set. Here's the next one. It talks about uh, the point table of a football tournament. And uh, like you are given that each, uh, uh, every nation played every other nation exactly once. Okay, and the positions are determined by the maximum number of uh, points followed by higher goal difference in case of tie points. Okay, so that is the condition given to us here, and we need to find out that what is uh, we need to find the score lines of these games. Okay, so let's see that if you can get the scorings. Okay, so we are given this table, and we are given that uh, each match results in a team winning against the other or there is a tie. So in case of win, there is 3 point and loss gives no point, tie 1 1 points each. Okay. So additional information is given to us that uh, all teams were on different number of points and UAE beat Oman 2, two 1 in their encounter. Okay. So first question is very simple. It says that how many goals were scored against South Korea? So what is goals for and goals against? Goals for and goals against means that the totals, uh, total goals that you score and uh, like against means that the goals against some uh, uh, some uh, country that is called goals against. Okay. So let's say that if there is a match between these two countries, let's say there are three countries A, B, C. A versus B, B versus C, C versus A. A scored 5-2 in this match. Okay, B, C is 3, 1, 3. C, A is 2, 4. Okay, so goals for A is 5 plus 4. So, is K goals for A, K 9. And goals against A is, this is 2 and this is 2. Goals against is 4. Goals for B is, B scored 2 goals here and 1 here. So, 3 goals. And goals against B is 3 goals here and 5 here, 8. And goals for C is, goals scored by C that is 3 plus 2, 5. And goals against is 1 plus 4 that is 5. Now one thing that we notice is the total goal scored for and against is same. Okay. So if you have to find the goals against South Korea, that will be the total of these two. So these two totals should match and you will get the values. Okay, so let's just add it 25 and then we have 34, 36, 40, 42. So this 42 should be equal to 42. So 12, 21, 21 plus 12, 33, 37. So this gives us the answer as 5. Okay, easy question. Let us try to fill the table and then we will answer the remaining questions. Okay. So uh, let's look at the uh, next information. All teams were on different number of points. So if you are watching this solution, try to fill the table first and then look at the solution and then answer the questions. Okay. So the question is that all teams were on different number of points. Okay. So this has to be different. Right. So it has to be less than 2. Right. It can be 0 or 1. It has to be between 2 and 8. UA beat Oman 2-1 in their encounter. So UA beats Oman. And that is given to us. Now let us do some, uh, let's fill in the information. So we are given that win gives you 3 points. Right? Tie gives you 1-1. One, one, and loss is 0 points. So Iran, all teams will play how many matches? 5 matches because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 opponents. So Iran wins all 5 matches to make it 15. So 5, 0, 0. South Korea has 10 points. So it can be 3 wins, 9 and 1 tie. So it will be 1 loss match also. So total 10 points. Japan has 8 points. So it has to have 2 wins, 6 points, 2 ties, 8 and then there is 1 loss also. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at China, China, China will have 0 win, right? China has 0 win, there will be 2 tie matches, 2 points 
and three losses. Now, if you look at Oman, Oman should have less than two points. So, Oman should have zero wins. Okay. Now, if Oman has zero wins, so it will have, uh, now we will have to think that how many loss or tie can it have, right? Will it lose all five matches or will it have a tie also? Now, if you see this, there will be a match between China and Oman. There has to be a match between China and Oman, right? Because all teams are playing, every nation played every other country exactly once. So, they have to play against each other. There has to be a match between China and Oman. Now, China has zero wins, Oman has zero wins. So, none of them won the match. So, what happened? What? That match was a tie. So, China versus Oman is a tie match. So, that means Oman gets one tied match. Now, Oman cannot have more than one tie match because all teams have different number of points. So, Oman can have one tie match and one point here and four losses. Now, coming to UAE, UAE beat Oman 2-1 in their encounter. Okay, so UAE has at least one win, definitely one win and it can have more also. Now, UAE beat Oman 2-1. So, UAE scored two goals. So, that means it will not score any other goal in the entire tournament because two goals in one match only, right? So, it cannot score any other goal. If it cannot score any other goal, it cannot win any other match. So, UAE will have only one win. Okay. Now, UAE has only one win. How to find the loss and tie? So, see, total win is total loss. Like we have total for is total against. So, we have total win is total loss. So, if a, a one team is winning, another team is losing the game. Okay. So, this way, we will have total wins is equal to total losses. So, let us equate it total wins as total losses. So, we have 8, 10, 11, 11 wins. So, there will be 11 losses also. So, if you have to make 11 losses, this is 4 and 4 plus 7, sorry, 2 plus 7 is 9 and we need to have 2 here to make it 11. Okay. So, now we will have 2 tie matches also. So, we can get the score line. So, which is 1 point for a win and 2 for tie. So, we have 5 points here. Okay. So, this is completing the table. Now, score lines, we do not need to worry about what is the score line in each. So, let us look at the further questions. Okay. So, this is how we will get the total table filled, like the number of wins, losses and goals and points. How many points did UAE score in the tournament? So, we just discussed that UAE won one match and had two tie matches. So, their total point is 5 points. How many matches of this tournament ended in a tie? Okay, a common mistake that people would make here is add 8 and mark 8 as the answer. Remember that how many matches are there? There are 6 teams. Each team plays 5 matches and each match involves 2 teams. So, there are total of 15 matches. We said 11 wins, 11 losses. So, that means 11 matches are win-loss scenario. So, remaining 4 matches would be tie. Now, why are we getting a double here? 8 tie matches. Why are we getting this total as 8? Suppose, the match between like UAE and China is a tie. Just taking an example. If it is a tie match, then what will happen is that uh, like, sorry, it's a tie match. So, we will have one tie written here, one tie written here. UAE and China if it's a tie. So, we are writing tie two times. Okay. So, if we are writing A versus B is a tie match, we will write one tie for A, one tie for B. But match is only one. So, that is why in such tables, uh, what you get as the total, divide by two to get the total number of tied matches. So, there are four such tied matches. Which team won the match between Japan and UAE? Now, this is an interesting question. And how do we figure out that Japan versus UAE? what will be the result. Okay. So, first of all, let us look at the condition of Japan and UAE, how many wins and uh, uh, like uh, losses etc. they have. 
so if you see japan has two wins okay one loss and two tie now we will first try to find out there are four tie matches let's see if we can find the four tie matches first of all we know china versus oman is a tie match that we figured out because none of them has any win and uh, that means that if they play a match that will be a tie match now let's look at uh, this country south korea and japan okay. south korea versus japan the match dekhenge so what will happen is south korea has lost one match and japan has lost one match both of them have lost one match against which team did they lose so if you see iran iran has won all five matches so they lost against iran both these losses won against iran so when south korea and japan play against each other they cannot win a match right because they have already lost one match against iran okay so they cannot have second loss so that means south korea versus japan was a tie match so south korea versus japan tie match now oman one tie match is done china one tie match remains right south korea tie match is done japan one tie match remains right now uae has two tie matches okay now if you say that uae versus japan is a win okay suppose you have been a loss right then uae ke do tie match kisse honge and see china has a one tie match left suppose we say that china versus japan is a tie okay just taking an example that if china versus uh, japan was a tie then uae will play two tie matches against whom it is not possible right for tie match it has to be tie with some country it is not that you cannot play uh, like if it is win it has to be loss for someone else if it's a tie it should be tie for other country also so japan cannot have china tie so japan versus uae will be one of the tie matches japan versus uae and another tie match will be uae versus china so these are the four tie matches in the tournament so japan and uae is a tie match all right let's look at the next question it says that what is the maximum possible combined number of goals in the match between south korea and uae okay so good question to think of that south korea and uae what can be the maximum combined number of goals between south korea and uae now see uae it scored two goals 2-1 in the encounter so uae should have has already scored two goals so uae score is zero south korea versus uae uae the score is zero isn't it because uae has has not scored any other goal it has scored only one goal that is against oman two goals that is against oman now we will have to think that we need to find the maximum number of goals in the match between south korea and uae now before looking for south korea let us see uae goals against is 6 okay. and uae if you see it beat oman in the 2-1 in the encounter so one goal is by oman okay. so we have to make a total of 6 so one goal is by oman so these six one is by oman uae versus in the previous question we saw that uae versus japan is tie uae versus china is tie okay. japan and china it is a tie match now uae is scoring zero goals in other matches right in uh, all other matches it is scoring zero goals only in that match it is scoring two goals so japan versus so uae versus japan will be 0 0 then only it can be a tie and similarly uae versus china will be 0 0 then it will be will be a tie so zero goals by this zero goals by this okay now total is 6 now two teams are left to play one is iran another is south korea okay so iran is winning so we need to find the maximum combined number of goals between south korea and uae uae is 0 so south korea should have maximum number of goals now if you have to get the maximum number of goals of south korea all others should be minimum okay because this is fixed so iran should have minimum number of goals 
Now UAE is scoring zero goals, right? So even if Iran score one goal, UAE will lose right? because UAE is not scoring any other goal in any of the other matches apart from Oman. Okay, so Iran will score minimum one goal. So if this is one, then we will have a maximum of four goals. Here. That makes the answer four. So maximum is four zero by which UAE will get beaten. So UAE's score is going to be zero. And maximum it can have four goals by South Korea. So four zero is the total is four. So I hope you are enjoying this series and this session thus far. So don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Now we were going to do the next set. Please read the instructions and uh, then we will solve it. So in case uh, you do not uh, want, you want to solve it on your own. Try to solve it on your own and then only look at the solution to this set. So this set says that uh, that there is a tournament and uh, this tournament is uh, basically of six uh, TD players and it says that they participated in a tournament that was played across five days and each player played exactly one match each day. So each player plays exactly one match each day. Every player played exactly one match against every other player during the tournament. So every day we have three matches, three matches into five days. We will have a total of 15 matches. And of course, if there are six players, each player will play against every other player once. So that way also the total number of matches is 15 matches. Okay, so we have 15 matches in this tournament and uh, every day each player will have one match. Okay, so uh, each match consists of only one set. Each set has multiple games and the person who wins 11 games first with a lead of at least two is the winner of that particular match. So what you need to do is you need to score to 11 points to win the match. Okay. So uh, each the player which reaches 11 points is the winner of the match. Now one interesting thing that is given about here is the lead of two. So in order to master this topic games and tournaments, one thing which I would like to request you is to read about different sports different winning patterns etc. Now what does lead of 2 means? I will explain it to you. So for example, the winning number is 11. So if you reach 11, other opponent can be at 0, you will win. 11, 1 you can win. 11, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till 9. 11, 9 you can win. Okay. So if your score is still 11, 9 you can win. But you cannot have a score of 11, 10. 11 10 ke se hoga. like if two players reach 10 10 then it becomes a score of uh, 11 uh, 10 10 points here so now a person cannot win with 11 10 so one has to have a lead of two so that means you will win 12 10 okay suppose the score has reached after 11 10 it has reached 11 11 you cannot win at 12 11 so you have to win by 13 11 14 12 so whenever it is more than 11, so it has to be a lead of 2 and if it is 11 or less, it can be any lead up to 9. So if you see a larger score, that means it is a lead of 2. So for example, like if you look at this table, this is 14-12. So 14-12 is the match. So if someone is scoring 14, that means it has got beyond the threshold limit and then it can be only lead of 2. It cannot be like 14 versus 7. Okay, So you will win at 11 itself. But if it is more than 11, it is definitely lead of 2. Okay. So it says the match continues till one of the players has managed such a lead. This table gives the number of games won by each player on each of the 5 days. Right. And we need to find out that who has played against whom in which match and won against which player. Alright. So let's uh, fill it. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So there are 5 days and each day 3 matches are being played. It gives us that there is 3 match because 6 players, each player plays 1 match. So there will be uh, 3 players playing 6 matches. Okay. 
all right so now let's uh, look at that uh, which will uh, which match is which so uh, if you look at monday like 13 means 13 versus 11 now 13 versus 11 can be anyone like lena madhu or urja we cannot tell from the, just this information okay now if you look at the uh, this day so it has to be 14 versus 12 and 13 versus 11 like if you see 14 it has to be exactly 14 versus 12 now who will who is 14 urja and jyoti so one match is urja versus jyoti okay so this is done okay, so i'll keep knocking off the table now uh, 13 versus 11 can be this or this right and in first day also it can be 11 9 11 8 which one is which we cannot tell right but just we know that the score lines now on Wednesday 11 versus 9, 11 versus 7 and 11 versus 9, we have no idea who plays which match. On Thursday it is 14 versus 12. So 14 versus 12 can happen only in this case that is Lina versus Jyoti. Right. So Lina versus Jyoti. Now Friday we will see that it is 11. So 11 versus 8, 4, 6 but who wins against who? Not sure okay now let's do one thing since uh, we have filled the data for uh, jyoti twice right so let's look for jyoti on monday jyoti has 13 points right so jyoti will win by 13 11 so it could be jyoti versus lena but jyoti lena is already done on wednesday so it is not jyoti versus lena it could be jyoti versus madhu right or jyoti versus urja now jyoti versus urja is done on Tuesday. So, if you see Tuesday, it is Jyoti versus Urja. So, we cannot have Jyoti versus Urja on Monday. So, it has to be Jyoti versus Madhu. So, Jyoti wins against Madhu on Monday. Okay. So, this is also done. This 13 versus 11 is done. So, it has to be between these two and these two. Right. Similarly, the 13 versus 11 cannot be still cannot still be figured out. So, now let us do one thing. Let us find first fill for Jyoti because for Jyoti we know the matches on three days. Now she has to play two other players. Okay. One is like if you look at Wednesday. So Jyoti has played against uh, it. Jyoti is still to play against Kusum and Nisha. Okay. Kusum and Nisha the matches are remaining. Now if you see Jyoti, Jyoti cannot play against Kusum on Friday because 8 versus 4 is not a possible match. You have to make a score of 11 to win the match. So, Jyoti versus Kusum cannot happen on Friday. So, it has to be Jyoti versus Nisha. So, Nisha wins against Jyoti and hence we will have Jyoti versus Kusum on Wednesday. Oh, sorry, uh, Jyoti versus uh, my bad. This was written here. So, this is here and on Wednesday we will have Jyoti versus Kusum. Okay, so this is how we get the matches of Jyoti. Okay, so uh, first day it is Jyoti versus Madhu. Okay, then Urja versus Jyoti. Right. Wednesday Jyoti versus Kusum. Then we have Lina versus Jyoti, and then on the final day we have Nisha versus Jyoti. Okay, so these are these are the five matches of Jyoti that are right now if you look at this table uh, it has to be 11 versus 8 and 11 versus 6 so they cannot play against each other okay and uh, similarly uh, if we see this 11 versus 11 cannot happen so it has to be 11 7 11 9 or like basically we can find out that which players can play against each other so we cannot have 11 versus 11 together okay so we have figured out uh, all the matches of Jyoti thus far. Now we will let's look at two players and see how they can play against each other. Okay. So for example, let's look at uh, Kusum. And uh, next is uh, Kusum versus Lina. Okay. So Kusum versus Lina can happen on uh, this day or this day. Okay. So we cannot tell Kusum versus Lina which day. 
similarly let's uh, look at some other pair like let's look at leena and madhu okay, leena versus madhu so let's uh, let's look at alternate rows so it becomes easy for us to guess like adjacent rows so leena versus madhu cannot happen on monday leena versus madhu cannot happen on tuesday because it is 8:30 this 11 11 is not a possible match so only day we can have leena versus madhu is on wednesday okay so madhu beats leena on wednesday so the third match is between urja and nisha okay so we get all the matches of wednesday okay so these are the score lines of this now next we have uh, we have madhu versus uh, now if you look at uh, these thursday right so kusum uh, has to play against nisha or urja and uh, similarly madhu has to play against nisha or urja okay possible anything is possible for this day let's look at this day this is 11 versus 8 or 11 versus 6 or oh, let's find out nisha urja is that and madhu and nisha so let to figure out which two pairs can we make so kusum urja can we make two possibilities okay 11 5 is also possible 9 11 is also possible lina and uh, urja so let's see lina and urja okay so lina and urja we cannot have on monday because 11 11 lina urja not possible this day not possible this day lina urja not possible this day so lina versus urja is possible only on friday okay lina versus urja so you need to look at two players and see on what day can we have the match so lina versus urja can happen only on friday because on monday it is 11 versus 11 so one match is leena versus urja which is 11 6 so the remaining match is madhu versus kusum okay so this is done now uh, we have uh, two matches remaining here 2 to 1 each of the days right now if you see uh, on tuesday right we just filled madhu versus kusum so madhu has to play against a player scoring 11 points so madhu versus kusum is not possible on tuesday so it has to be madhu versus nisha because madhu has to win by 2 points so madhu has to win 13 11 so it is madhu versus nisha and kusum versus leena okay so this is also done now on monday kusum cannot play leena because we have just filled kusum versus leena here so kusum has to play against 11 point so it is urja versus kusum 11 9 and hence leena versus nisha that is 11 and 8 okay now we will fill for thursday so it is kusum versus nisha or urja okay so kusum versus urja is done so it has to be kusum versus nisha that is 11 7 and madhu versus urja okay which is 11 5 so this is how we will fill the table so how did we start we started with that two point gap thing okay and we figure out some of the matches like uh, 14 12 and especially 14 12 these two were filled and then we saw that the common person was jyoti so we were able to figure out the matches of jyoti once we figured out the matches of jyoti we looked at two consecutive players and figured out on which day they can play given the condition that if you score 11 points then you can have any margin of victory but if you score more than uh, 11 then it has to be a two point victory so we can find the result of all 15 matches okay so uh, these matches are not necessarily in one particular order it is just that on this particular day three matches were played and what were the outcomes of the matches and based on the score line you can tell that who win who wins which of the matches who among the following did not win a match on monday so on monday it is jyoti versus uh, madhu so jyoti is the winner okay leena versus uh, leena versus nisha so leena is 11 and nisha so leena is also winning then we have uh, jyoti versus madhu right so jyoti beat 
Madhu by 11, uh, 13, 11. So Madhu did not win because Madhu lost to Jyoti and Urja also won her match. How many games did Madhu win? So you will have to check Madhu versus Jyoti. Okay, so Madhu versus Jyoti. Jyoti is 13, Madhu is 11. So this is lost. Okay, second day it is Madhu versus uh, Nisha. So Madhu is 13. So definitely that's a win. Okay, and uh, Wednesday uh, it is Madhu is 11. And so obviously that's a win. And on Thursday we have uh, Madhu versus Urja. That is again a win. And on Friday it is 11 versus less only. So that is win. Okay, so Madhu wins 4 matches out of 5. On which day did Lina play against Jyoti? So Lina versus Jyoti happened on Thursday. Which of the following games was played on Friday? Lina versus Kusum? No. Madhu versus Urja? No. Nisha versus Jyoti? Yes, that is a match played on Friday. Okay, so this is this was the solution to the set and answers to the questions. It was mapping of scores by using this concept of lead of two. All right, so let's now look at the next set. Uh, look at the set, try to solve it and then I will start with the solution and uh, like if you are unable to hit the solution then you can watch the solution to this video. So it says that there are eight cricket teams A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and they participated in a tournament whose first stage is a round robin stage. Round robin stage means each team plays every other team once. Okay, so that is the condition here. So you will have to draw a table like this. So this is the table which we will fill. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this is versus this. Okay. Now uh, it says no match ended in a draw or tie. So all matches are win loss matches. Hong Kong won all the matches. Okay. So what we will do? We will write win 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 win. So Hong Kong has seven wins. Now if Hong Kong won all the matches, so all teams lost against. Okay, so we will fill like you have to fit it two dimension, right? If you will fill win like this, we'll have to fill loss vertically. Okay, so this is done. Germany won against Belgium but lost to Estonia. So Germany wins against Belgium and lost against as El, uh, Estonia. So similarly, Belgium will lose against Germany. Okay, and Belgium will. Uh, sorry, Estonia will win against Germany. Okay, so that you need to fill both things parallelly. The number of matches won by Austria, Belgium and Denmark is 3 each. Austria, Belgium and Denmark 3 each. Achha, one thing you need to keep in mind is total wins kitni hongi. So there are 8 teams each team plays 7 matches and one match involves 2 teams. So we have 28 matches. So each match is ending in a win or loss. Total wins is 28. So that also you need to keep in mind. Now we can find using this data. So Austria, Belgium and Denmark they will win 3 matches each and no other team wins 3 matches. So like if a team is winning 3 matches and 1 match is left. So we will have to mark it a win to make it 4. Okay. Or suppose that a team is winning 2 matches and 1 match is unknown. So we will mark it as a loss. So that it does not may end up having 3 wins. Right. That is the logic that you need to keep in mind. Canada won only 2 matches against Belgium and Denmark. So Canada has 2 wins. Belgium and Denmark. Okay. So Canada wins against Belgium. Canada wins against Denmark. So Belgium will lose against Canada. And Denmark will also lose against Canada. Okay, so you'll have to fill things parallelly. Now, one thing that we can get here is we have 11, 18. So these three teams combined will have 10 wins. 
Okay, combined ten wins only, and none of them can be three, right? So that is one thing you need to keep in mind. Denmark lost to France, so Denmark loses against France. So that means France won against Denmark. Okay, so that is there. Then we are given Austria won against Belgium, Canada, and Estonia. Belgium, Canada, Estonia. So of course these three will lose against Australia. Austria. Belgium, Canada, and Estonia. Belgium, they lose against Austria. Okay. Now see this thing. Now we will have to complete the table, keeping in mind that no one will else should have three wins and this data, right? So Austria has three wins. Three wins are done. So the remaining are loss, loss, loss. So the remaining teams will win, win, and win against Austria, right? Okay. Now uh, Belgium has three wins. We see only the losses in the table thus far. Okay, so the remaining three matches have to be wins, win, win, win. So against Belgium, these three teams will lose. Okay, so Denmark, Estonia, and uh, FC France will lose against Belgium. Okay, so these three are done. These three, these two countries are done. Now Canada, two wins are done. Okay, so Canada will lose the remaining matches. And other teams will win against Canada. Okay. All right. Now two is done. This is one win, and we need to have total three wins. So that means Denmark will win both the matches, and both teams will lose here. Okay. So this three is also done. Right. Now this seven is done. This is done. So basically, we are just left with a handful of matches, very few matches. Now see this thing. The team has uh, like why did I put G here? E is G. So Estonia versus Germany won against Belgium, but lost to Estonia. Okay, so Estonia wins against Germany. I hope I have filled it correctly. That uh, Germany lost against Estonia. Yeah, so that is correct. So this is two wins thus far. Okay. Now, as I told you that no other team has three wins, so if you make it win, then it becomes three. So we will not make it as a win. So we will have a loss here. So it lost to France. So France won against Germany. France won against Estonia. So it has two wins, right? Now we have to make ten. Now we have one, two, three, four wins. Okay. Suppose uh, and this has three wins, right? Win, win, win. So its three chal rahi hai, its four chal rahi hai. One match is remaining. So if we make it, if we lose, if this country loses here, it will end up in three, which is not possible. So it should win this match. So if Germany wins uh, against France, France should lose against Germany. So they will have four and four wins. Now this completes the table. You can have a quick look at the table and see that the total wins are as per the condition. Okay. And if you match three wins, three wins. Uh, one, two, two wins. Okay, one, two, three wins. Two wins, four wins, four wins, and seven wins. So total adds up to twenty-eight. So if you see the table horizontally and vertically, you will see that it is the uh, the complementary of that. How many matches did France win? So we can say that France won four matches. How many matches did Germany lose? So Germany wins four matches. So Germany will lose three match. Estonia won against which all teams? So Estonia has two wins. One is uh, C and one is G. So Canada and Germany. Which teams won the minimum number of matches? Okay. So there are two teams that won two matches. One is Estonia and one is Canada. How many teams won four matches? So we have two teams, France and Germany. They won four matches each. So this was uh, like about formulating the table. How good you are at making the table of the problem and solving it. I hope you are enjoying this session thus far. So please don't forget to like this video and uh, watch this entire series. That will help you uh, quite well in your preparation for CAT. Okay, so here's the next set and uh, read the set. It is about a volleyball match. 
somewhat similar to that uh, we did previously wherein the score line was 11 here the score line is uh, slightly different but the two point margin thing comes here as well so it says that volleyball matches are played in five sets okay the first four sets are played to 25 points while the final set being played to 15 points so we have five sets so first four sets we have uh, 25 and the final is 15 points right now what happens is a team must win by a set by at least two points so if you watch that previous set in which we did that 11 point game you must have understood what is that two point difference mean okay so uh, if you are let's say the score is 25 so you can win by 25 1 25 2 25 3 4 and so on till 23 but you cannot make it 25 24 that's not a valid score so it has to be 25 versus 20 uh, like if you have to make it 24 so you will make it 26 24 27 25 and so on okay there is no ceiling so as a set continues till one of the teams gain two point advantage so this two point advantage rule uh, is a good one to know a match was played between india and pakistan in which uh, some information is given to us and then there are five sets uh, it says that the uh, that only three sets finished with the minimum threshold points so three sets minimum threshold be complete okay so two points will go to the the uh, two point advantage okay at the total score of the five sets of India and Pakistan were 108 and 116 respectively. However, India won three sets. India, the total points is less, but they won three sets. Okay. So, uh, we will make a table like this. India versus Pakistan, 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the total. Okay. So, total is 108 and Pakistan, the total is 116. Okay. And India wins on three occasions. Okay. The total score of India in one of the sets was the same as the score of Pakistan in one of the other sets. Both of them lost their respective sets as a different margin. Okay, so that information we will use later. We cannot find that score. Okay, that is a matching information to reject a particular case. Then Pakistan scored 23 points in one of the sets. Now, 23 points, if it scores in this kind of a set, then what will happen is, <coughs> so India has to score 25 because you cannot win by 23 points, right? Either you win at 15 or you win at 25. So we are scoring 23 here, India must have scored 15 here. Or there is another possibility that Pakistan scored 23 in that line. This is a special set, okay? Special set means it is played up to 15 points only. So if Pakistan scores 23 points here, India would have scored 21 in this game. Okay, so there are two possibilities. So we will fill these possibilities. So uh, let's make another case like this. So we will keep this in mind and fill it later. The score of Pakistan was the same in two of the sets in which it won one of the sets. Okay, so two sets score is same. Uh, score of India is same as Pakistan. So that we will have to match later. In one of the sets, the final score of India was less than half of Pakistan's. Okay, so half of Pakistan, so less than that is the score of India. There were only three sets in which a team won by exactly two point advantage. So three sets of two point advantage. What does this mean? Two point advantage ka bota hai? Two point advantage can happen at like threshold pe bhi ho sakta hai. Ya fir extension pe bhi ho sakta hai. Extend, you, let's call it a threshold set. Right, so here it says right, there are uh, three sets that finished in threshold points. So one is the th threshold point, threshold point means like at 25 you are the winner okay. and another is extension. Right. So two point advantage can happen in threshold, it can happen in extension. So there are three sets that finished with uh, minimum threshold points. So that means two matches were extended. Now if a match is extended, it is always two point advantage. So there are two, two matches where the match got extended okay? and that means there should be one match of threshold with a two point difference. Now it could be 25, 23 
or it can also be 15, 13. Okay, we are not sure, but that is the case here. Okay. Now, uh, last is the maximum score by any team in the five sets was 30, and the minimum was 12. Right. So, if the maximum is 30, the match is 30 and 28. So, one of the scores is 30, 28. Right. All right. So, let us now uh, start putting the values. Let us make some table and uh, see that what could be the score line in those matches. Okay. So, we said that Pakistan scored 23 points in one of the sets. So, either it is here or it is in some of the other normal sets. Okay, so let's make this another table like India versus Pakistan. So one possibility is Pakistan scores 23 here. So India will score 21, isn't it? And <coughs> another score is that uh, Pakistan scores 23 here and India scores a 25, right? Because last one is a special set. See, uh, it does not mean that the order of other sets is irrelevant, right? It is not necessary that it happens in the first set. It can happen in second, third, fourth because all other sets are identical in nature. The fifth set is special, okay? That is one information. Then one information is given that in one of the sets, the final score of India was less than half of Pakistan's, okay? So winning can be over Winning happens in 25 or 15. Okay. Agar less than half hai, that means it is as a threshold set. Threshold wala set hoga because otherwise if it is an extended set, you win by two points. Right. So threshold set hai. So that means it should be less than 12.5. It should be less than 7.5. Also given that the minimum score is 12. So that means this is not possible. So there is a set which is 25-12. That's what we get from the combined statements. One statement says that India's total was less than half of Pakistan. And second information says that uh, that this particular, uh, the minimum was 12. So combining these two, we get that one of the sets ended in 25-12 with Pakistan scoring 25 and India 12. Okay. So a definite set here, Pakistan 25 and India 12 and Pakistan 25 and India 12. Okay. Now, if you look at this case, what has happened is Pakistan has won both these matches. So, India should win all these three matches. Okay. Now, if you see 20 plus 21, total is 33. So, we need 75, four, 75 more points in this. 75 banana. Hai. Now, India should win. So, minimum 25, 25, 25 chahiye we Isn't it? If India has to win, it has to score minimum 25. Right? Minimum. So that means no threshold and we are saying that one of the highest score is 30. So 30 is not achieved in any of the matches in this period. So this case gets eliminated. So what was the case here that Pakistan makes 23 man points in the final set. So this means Pakistan did not score 23 points in the final set. Pakistan had a 23 point in one of these sets. Okay. And in one of these sets it is 12 versus 25. Take it. So final score is that uh, final set goes to that, uh, that it may get to an extended version, but not beyond it. So now it says that uh, like three sets, so two sets will uh, finish. This is a threshold set. This is a threshold set. There will be one more threshold set. Okay. All right. Now we will find the remaining points, right? 48. This is remaining points is 68 and remaining point is... Uh, here it is 3771, right? And uh, then we have two point advantage. So there have to be two more wins with two point advantage. Okay, that is one more thing. And what else we know is this these things we will use in the end. The score of India in one of the sets was same, and the score of Pakistan is same. That we will use later. Okay. In one of this is done only three sets two point margin so they will have to put so out of these three sets two sets will be two point margin okay and uh, this is one two point margin so there have to be one threshold set one more threshold set 
now if there is an extended set see there are two extended sets and three threshold sets so two extended sets will have two point margin so two extended set yahan pe aayenge and there will be one threshold set that will not be have a two point margin okay so one threshold set and two extended sets that we need to fill in now uh, what other information that does not solve the purpose of filling this data now one information is one team is scoring 30 points right so if a person team scores 30 points it has to win by 30 28 tabhi win hoga 30 28 because if it is extending the threshold limit then you have to win by two points so that means either it is pakistan or india theek hai to ek kaam karte hain let's first make pakistan give 30 points and then we will see with india so let's say if pakistan gets 30 points pakistan gets 30 points india should get 28 in this now pakistan has won this match won this match india should win these two matches now total remaining is 43 in these two matches and uh, for pakistan the remaining is 38 right that's what we get from this information now uh, this is that extended match and two point advantage so there has to be one extended match and one threshold match okay and india has to win both these matches okay one is threshold one is extended suppose this is threshold match okay so india should make 25 points right and then if this is extended then india will make 18 points okay so uh, 18 points then it has to be 16 because uh, like is is an extended match and this will be 16 uh, 38 that is 20 right that will be the score line of this match if we assume that this is the this is the this is the extended match and this is the threshold match okay now let us see one thing now let's evaluate these two conditions score of india in one of the sets was same of score in pakistan in one of the other sets both teams lost their respective matches okay india and pakistan same match 25 25 uh, uh, no other score and they are not losing right india is winning and pakistan is winning so this case does not solve the purpose so let's say that this match was not the extended one okay and uh, this was the extended one so if we make it a threshold game it will be 15 30 an extended means 28 and 25 okay again if we see this it says that uh, India in one of the sets was same of score in Pakistan in other set, both of them lost. So India and Pakistan 25 uh, each, right? Both of them are winning. Okay, so uh, 25 and 25, India is not losing here. So that also does not fit. And score of Pakistan was same in two of the sets in which one of the sets. Okay, so this is matching, right? 25 is the same score and it is winning one of the sets. but this condition is not being satisfied anywhere that india is same as pakistan and both of them are losing so india and pakistan 25 is common right but uh, pakistan is losing at 25 india is not losing at 25 so this means that our assumption of this 30 point is wrong so we shall now proceed with 30 28 this way and see the result so india wins by 30 28 okay and uh, this was uh, 71 37 67 so these two remaining total is 41 and this is 76 remaining total is 38 right now uh, india has won this match pakistan has won this match india has won this match so one will be india one is pakistan now this is extension match so there will be one more extension match and one threshold match okay and one of these matches the extension match will have a two point advantage that we know of okay now let us say that uh, like one of them has to be a uh, be a threshold match okay so threshold match if we take 25 as the threshold here so if we take 25 that is 16 okay now uh, can india make 25 here because if india makes 25 and it's a threshold match 
so india will win and india has to make 16 here okay and lose then pakistan should make 18 to win because this is if this is india is winning then pakistan should win the last match okay and then it will be 16 and 18 okay pakistan wins this match uh, so pakistan should be 20 now let's check out for these conditions pakistan scored same in two matches that is not happening so this is also not possible suppose uh, this is not a threshold match this is a threshold match and uh, or we can take the other way around also this is we said that this was a threshold match this is an extended match and this is the threshold match and what we took we took india is the winner here right we took india as 25 and winning the match suppose india wins loses this match but wins this match and this is a threshold match okay so if india wins this match and it's a threshold match india will have 13 15 points so india should have 26 points here okay to not order to make it total 108 now uh, this is a threshold match and this is an extended match so extended match means there is a difference of 2 points okay so 28 and 38 will have 10 points in this match okay so that's how uh, we get it so let's just take the total 48 48 plus 56 104 so sorry it should be 12 let's just check it तो इसका पहले था 48, 76, 42 बनना था 40 बनना था सो जस्ट चेक इट लाइक इट इज 15 एंड 12. सो व्हाट वी डिड वॉज लाइक वन ऑफ देम इज एन एक्सटेंडेड वन इज थ्रेश होल्ड सो वी डू दिस एज थ्रेश होल्ड वी डिड नॉट गेट अ रिजल्ट सो वी ट्राई टू पुट दिस एज थ्रेश होल्ड एंड मेक इंडिया वेन ओके एंड यू कैन ट्राई विथ पाकिस्तान वेन ऑल्सो नाउ वी विल सी द कंडीशन इट सेज Pakistan was the same in two sets with in which it won one of the sets so pakistan having 28 points it is winning uh, in this case and it is losing in this case so this case condition is satisfied now okay then score of india in one of the sets was same as score of pakistan in one of the other sets both of them lost their respective sets by a different margin okay so pakistan 25 25 india is not uh, uh, like losing in this scenario it can be 12 12 right so the score of india is same as that of pakistan 12 12 and both of them are losing by different margin so it is losing by 13 points and losing by 3 points so this condition is also satisfied so this completes the uh, this completes the overall information all the points are matching you can just re verify it and see that all these points are matching in the solution so this is uh, the solution okay so we'll just write it in a neat way so that uh, like uh, you don't get any confusion now last set is unique and the remaining four sets are identical they can be arranged in any way so 25 and 12 30 26 and 15 this is 23 25 28 28 and 12. So, what was the score of India in the fifth set? In the fifth set, India scored 15 points. Now, remember that it's a theta question. So, in case you are not going to solve this set, you could just mark 15 randomly because there is a high chance last last set 15 tak jara. So, just uh, a wild guess that India wins that by at the threshold point, you could get marks. Okay, so this is some techniques that people use to increase their marks. In how many sets was the score of Pakistan an even number? So we have one, two, three, three sets. Pakistan got an even score. Which of these denotes the margin by which India won one of the sets? So India won this by two points. Okay, India won uh, lost this. India wins by two points. India wins by three points. So India won by three points in one of the sets. The score of Pakistan was the same in two of the sets. What was the score? So that same score was twenty-eight. Which of these is not the final score of India in any of the sets? So India has 25 points in the sets. 36 is also present. 28 is not present. Uh, so so basically 30 is also present. 28 is not the final score in any of the sets. Okay. So uh, this was the solution to the set, uh, which was quite a challenging one. 
and a quite good play of numbers as well and the answers to these questions okay so there is one more set for you to solve in the comments of this video try to uh, take a screenshot solve this set and you can comment your answer if you are unable to solve this set i will share you the link in which you can find the solution of this set so i hope you enjoyed this session on games and tournaments we solved moderate to difficult level sets you got to know how to solve uh, basically uh, uh, knockout tournaments that how do you find the match uh, which player plays against which other player you understood the concept of two point margin uh, you understood how to fill in the tables of when loss okay where and it is it involves a round robin league tournament so we had a variety of sets and uh, in case you are preparing for cat and are looking for a structured preparation you can enroll in our cat 2024 batch and in case you want to get the pdf of this class please join our telegram group and there you will get the pdfs of all these uh, video sessions that we are conducting and uh, i hope you enjoyed this series and this uh, particularly this video so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and please watch this entire series of 30 days i'm guaranteeing you that if you've uh, learned something from this series that is definitely going to boost your score in cat and other mba entrance examinations so that's for this class thanks for watching the class have a great day ahead